Hello everyone, it's Wonko and welcome back to Feed the Beast. Um, yes, it's night time down here, and as you can see there's a creeper in my base. Yeah, creepy creepy. Right, so what you want to do is you want to go down so that they think they're getting the jump on you. And they fall. And then they're not a problem anymore. Unless they fall right onto your farm, which you happen to be working on at the moment. Which is, unfortunately, what he did. So, hello again. Uh, since last time, I moved the um, lava nether pump around and made it so that it actually works. Gasp. And, yeah, so as you can see, that's pretty... Pretty good, that's completely full, that filled up in just a few hours with 2,000 buckets of lava is in there. Oh, and also I built all these tanks. Oh. And that's a bit unresponsive, so. Okay, that's better, but Matt's still not doing anything. So that's great. I think he's AFK or something. We should just log out. But anyway, yeah, so I built all of these. Ooh, that's something we need to deal with. So I've got four tanks down there, and I've still got my one down in the corner below. So five tanks total, and they're really cheap to make now. I, seem, I thought I remembered them being... An expensive hassle waste of time, but yeah, so that deals with the rain sound. Great. Okay. So this is what we're working on at the moment. Uh, this birch tree farm, because I've got them fully filled up with um, lava and water. So I've got a few steps. Oh, he's back. Oh. That's sh okay. Matt's gone. So um, yeah. So we've got water. And Whoa. Oh my goodness. Hello. Come over here. Yeah, so as you can see, we've still got a tiny amount of lava in that tank. I didn't pump all of it out. But, uh, yes. Yep, yep. Oh, and I've got a, a tesseract that's just pumping water down here. So, our next order of operations... Uh, our next project that we're going to work on is we're going to fill up the third tank. And the third tank is going to be biomass. I wish there was some anti-slime spawner machine. There probably is, knowing this game, but... Oh, for goodness sake. This is ludicrous. Yes, yes, I'm very proud of you, you up levels. Well, this is turning into a fun episode, isn't it? Okay, so let's get down to business. So... Oh, here's my axe. Shoot. Yeah, so my quarry's down to diamond level. So as you can see, I've got more diamonds now. Which is awesome, and it's still digging. So hopefully more diamonds are forthcoming. Right, so biomass. And to get this biomass, we're going to use saplings. And we're actually going to use birch saplings. Mainly because that other farm over there 
doesn't actually create a massive number of saplings. It does create a lot, but um, it doesn't take full advantage of the space that one of these things is able to harvest. So yes, that's what we're doing. Um, so, we need to craft the logger. So if I can remember how to do this, I need some glass for a start. We won't need that many, but glass is always useful to have a bit of in your inventory. So we've got this, three of them, that goes there. Glass, and one of these, and hey presto, we have a logger. Now the logger's capable of digging out 21 by 21 by 10, I believe. So this area surrounded by the red is 21 by 21. So that's good. So, next we need pipes for piping stuff out. Three of there, and I, there's some stone. Oh, I'm not going to need a diamond one. Here, yeah, diamond and transport pipe. I know I've got one somewhere. I think I've got a few somewhere. Probably not that many of them. Not in there. Whew, this is... Okay, maybe I don't have them. Huh. Let's just take all this stuff because it might be useful. Drop that stuff off because it won't be useful. Alright. So that's, we're going to need diamonds. See, I told you it was useful to have glass in your inventory the whole time. And we've got more diamonds since the last time we looked at it. So that makes me very happy. Right, so let's load these all onto the bar. Also, I decided to ring it with obsidian because I think that looks really cool. And I have a huge surplus of obsidian at the moment. So this ender chest of yellow, orange, orange is going to be for birch saplings. Ooh. More of them. And the red here is going to be those. Alright. So that ensures that it all gets out, then let's put down a pump. No, no stone. I said I just put some cobblestone in my inventory. This is getting frustrating. I wish there was an item you could make that would triple your inventory space. Because that would be really, really useful for me. Okay, so next we need to power this with MJ. So, time to use the magnetic engine. Okay, now I'm regretting using obsidian, and I should really make a diamond pickaxe. And the enchanter, is this even making a dent? Here not. Well, that's just brilliant, isn't it? So, we're going to go there. And set up these liquid tesseracts. I'm, I'm just going to make a whole load of these things so I can just use them for everything. Because I think they're awesome. Lava storage output. Uh, No waterproof pipe. I am so unprepared. I thought I'd spent a long time getting everything, all the materials I needed ready, but no, so I'm just going to cannibalize this thing because we don't need it anymore. Well, at least now, and when we use it again, we're probably going to have 
new system for it anyway. So it's important to keep chopping these down so we get saplings. I started all of these trees off from one single sapling that I borrowed from Matt. And he said I could have it back only if I paid it back with interest. So that's exactly what I plan on doing. Okay, that doesn't work. No cobblestone again. We're going to have to do that to keep it off. And what other stuff is going to come out of here? Logs. Right. So let's get some more obsidian. Put it in the chest down here. And we're going to have to go and get a rose because we need this to be yellow, red, red. So it goes in there. And this, of course, over here, probably should have mentioned this, is a filler. So this just fills the area back up with saplings. So. Right. Uh, we need that to be facing in the other direction. And we need... Another ender chest here, which is also going to be yellow, red, red. And we'll set up a barrel for these saplings as well, so that's looking good. Uh, where did these things go? They went right there. Okay, does this need MJ2? It does, doesn't it? Oh, this project's going to be expensive, and I should probably in the future come up with a better way to do it. Yeah, so this system is definitely going to be refined. Trees grown. Nice. Okay. Uh, well, the blue side needs to be this. And now we just need to tesseract up the lava output. So, Will, uh, this is the device that will take lava out of this and supply it to all the machines we need to make it with. That was weird. And I was worried for a second I'd lost all of my lava, which would have been terrible. Thankfully I didn't. So... Oh, this thing needs to be... Sending you... Whoa, some lag spike. I hope that wasn't me. But... Is this... This is good, right? Um, you are doing something. Oh, did we put down a wooden waterproof pipe? Yes, we did. Uh, should be coming out of there. Hmm. Be right back, guys. I'll see what's happening here. Right, everyone, hello, it's me again. I figured out um, what happened. Apparently, you need a valve on the bottom row in order to get the lava out, which I didn't know. 
But uh, that seems to work fine. I also learned that you can destroy blocks of the tank, put it back together, and it still has all the lava uh, you had before in it. Which is great. And now we have lava over here. Right, so that's catch. Um, then this one's set to fill the area. Let's put the first saplings in there. Okay. Um, we need to power this thing too. It seems to be taking... Oh, right. Um, oh, it hasn't actually ex accepted this area as a building space. Uh, as a space to build in, it's just put the sides down of it. So, we need... Oh, landmarks, landmarks, we need landmarks. Oh, luckily they're still there. Okay, so you put these down, then put down the filler, and it turns it into this uh, black and yellow construction line. And that shows that it's ready to build. So every place it can put a sapling, it will put a sapling, and it can't put a sapling if there's a block already there, or so I believe, otherwise I'm in big trouble. Hello? Are you doing anything? That's not good. Um, maybe there's an order you need to put these things in. So, put this here and then that there, then turn it on. Then what on earth do you want? Sorry guys, I'll be right back whilst I try to figure this stubborn machine out.